everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys a game called Realm of Mad God. Now, it is a RPG like bullet hell like as well game. <clears throat> also, one of the most frustrating games I have ever played in my life. Next to Call of Duty. Okay, so you might be wondering why? Why, why this game? It looks 8 bit, it looks weird. Why, why an 8-bit game? Well, why play Minecraft then, right? So, first of all, we got a vault here. This is where you store your items. You got a pet yard. This is where you get pets. Um, you got items. There's classes. There's knights, warriors, sorcerers, all that. Let's go to the Nexus, which is like a lobby or a place where everybody just hangs. Here we have things that are on sale there's a mystery this this right here is a mystery box um this is a free game on steam i would like to say that as well um the only thing that really does cost money is probably the well in-game currency behind it which is gold now, you will go through a tutorial through this, that's why I'm not going to be telling you how to play or anything else. Here we have several realms. Realms are worlds, basically, that people go in and kill stuff. <coughs> now, you got these little pirates. These are minor minions that you can just kill pretty easily. Uh, we're going to be teleporting to the god realms. Gods are much harder, they're much stronger. They are certainly much more tankier as well, I'm gonna say. Um, there is a very good economy system in here as well. It's kind of like TF2's economy system. You trade, buy, blah blah blah, onwards. Um, I'm playing as a necromancer, and necromancers uses a staff. Its armor is pretty low, um, and we have a special ability that lets us heal. Which is very useful in many cases. Oh, some guy died. Um, let's see if we can find this gravestone anywhere. If you die, you lose all your stuff. So, also, so yeah, that's why it's one of the most frustrating games. We're gonna try to look for like a uh, dungeon here. Oh lord. Pets? Did I mention pets help you out? No, I probably didn't. But yeah, pets help you out, they could heal you, they could paralyze for you, they could like not make the guy shoot anymore, or gods shoot, which is actually quite amazing. Um, oh, here we go, some dungeon action. Okay, dungeons are like bonuses or, well, everybody knows what a dungeon is. Uh, there's a boss, and this is a sprite world, so we're going to be getting stuff. This is a miniature boss, or oh, what I got? An attack pot. That's interesting. Leave every garbage in there. Ah, okay. Now stats in here work very differently. Oh, um, you don't. There's a stat base, should I say, where you can max out to, which is then used by these pots that permanently increase those stats. Uh, yeah. Which are very tier items. I'm slow, goddammit. Out of my way. There we go. Let's kill this guy. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> Where was that? Oh, was that bad stats? Yeah, stats! Yes. Stats drop for these pots of attack, or speed, or whatever. Will drop from gods, and... Certain gods drop certain pots. These guys could drop decks or attack. The the boss could drop pots as well. They increase your stats. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now you guys think this game might be easy. Well, you guys better think again unless you want to die 20 million times. This game is pretty difficult. One. They do lots of damage when you're weak. Right there. 27. That's because I'm just... I have lots of armor. I max out death. Defense. <clears throat> also, I can heal. 
Um, if I didn't have any armor, this guy would probably kill me in about two shots. Probably. I'm just predicting here. Predicting the inevitable. Now, this guy really does hurt my bum. Okay, here we go. Oh, white bag. Okay, white bags. There's tier bags and also tier weapons and other stuff. <clears throat> white bags are some of the best weapons. Not all the time, I would say. Uh, for instance, this right here, the plane walker, is a pretty common untier weapon. Not weapon. Ability. There we go. Ability for the rogue. And yeah. So you got tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, and I think tier 8 is where it all changed. So once you hit level 20, you're going to be leveling up as we progress. Once you hit level 20, you're going to get this bar called fame. This will display how much fame you get. Uh, fame is also another in-game currency, but not for buying anything much. It's morally used for pets or the arena now some untier weapons could be the best some untiers could be the worst but untier weapons are hard to obtain there are brown bags which are common items then you got purple bags which are soul bound soul bound is basically yours you can only see it you can only pick it up so on <coughs> Um, which are somewhat good items. Next, you got the dark blue bag, which then drops pots. Now, blue bags, dark blue bags, could also drop other items, such as weapons, armor maybe, and uh, goodies like that. Next, you got the light blue bags which will be items only, I'm not sure. Could be items only, but I'm not sure if they drop pots or not. But yeah, they are items only. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure, like I said. They drop pretty good items, top tier. Uh, it could drop a tier four ring, which is pretty good. Uh, yeah, rings on um, top tier. And then you got red bags. Red bags are not red bags. Uh, white bags. White bags, which are the best, or mostly the best items in the game, mostly. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. We're gonna be running this other dungeon. This is the undead layer. Has a ghost god. I'm just gonna wait for this knight, level 20 knight, to get there. Ugh, yeah, knights, as you could, if you could predict, would have, like, the best armor in the game, which is 40. Could well over reach 20. Not 20. Could be, like, 100. They could go to 100, I believe. Yeah, 100. Oh, Jesus. Ugh, there are buffs and debuffs in here. One, you got increased attack speed or attack damage. You got increased health regen. Um, that's a buff. There, yeah. There's um, there's double armor. I believe. Also, there's debuff where it comes. Where the, uh, debuff. There's poison. No, not poison. There's bleed. Bleed. Sick. Uh oh. This guy's there. See him. There we go. We're gonna be taking out this guy. Come on, give me the pop. Give me the pop. so on and i think this will be the end of this game hope you guys play this this is a pretty good game rpg bullet hell where i'm a mad guy it's on steam it's free come on it's free game rpg anybody who loves that will 
love this game. And uh, see you later, and goodbye.